In this video, I will show you full 24 hours of me working as an aerospace engineer from home in just 10 minutes. Hi everyone, my name is Martin Yanev, an aerospace engineer living in Southampton, UK. Today, I will share with you full 24 hours of my day as an aerospace engineer. Since 1st of November, the whole country is in lockdown due to the coronavirus outbreak. So you have the unique ability to see how an aerospace engineer works from home in 2020. 20. I am barely opening my eyes at 7 o'clock and blindly entering the bathroom to brush my teeth. I put a bit of Nivea for men face cream to ensure I don't look older as I turned 26 just two days ago. I entered the kitchen to prepare fruit peach squash and most importantly a huge cup of coffee made of two spoons of instant coffee and water to the top. I look at the clock, it's nearly 7.30, so I do a little bit of stretching for about 15 minutes, so there is a proper blood flow in my body. 15 minutes are left until work. As I don't have desk in my room, I sit on my couch, turn on my laptop, I play some music to ensure that nothing disturbs me. I check all emails I received during the night and I accept the request for joining my Aerospace Engineers Facebook group, which you can also join if you check the link in the description. I dress something official on the top in case somebody calls me while wearing shorts on the bottom to maintain my comfort. My colleague is texting me that I can connect to the system in our laboratory and test if the trackers are working properly. I connect to the company server and turn on the air traffic control management system that we are working on. Graphically, the trackers seem to work, but I am double checking the messages exchanged between the system components. This is what my senior colleague advised me. Not everything went smooth, but after an hour, my test was finally passed. I am writing some notes for the next person to test this, so he don't get the same problems as I did. Okay. I'm done with my current tasks and I'm asking my manager for new ones, so I don't get too bored during the day. While waiting, I decided to read the Eurocontrol Performance Based Spacing Handbook, describing the rules for separation between aircrafts in Europe. This is related to my work, so I want to see what is new in the European and the ICAO guidelines. After reading about the loss of separation model and strategic de-conflict spacing studies, my manager is texting me that he has some tasks for me that I should do. I didn't understand what he wants from me very well, so we have a quick call to ensure that we are on the same page. He asked me to design test cases for the new functionality of our air traffic management system. I understood everything this time, but before starting it, it is time to have a lunch. I throw bacon on the pan and a few eggs as well. I feel a bit lazy to bake the potatoes, so I just microwave them. Let's put all food together and take the red cabbage salad from yesterday. Now I can eat, relax and watch some funny stuff on YouTube for the next 30 minutes. Suddenly, a letter from my university arrives. I am quite surprised because it is located in US. I read the letter and it says that I need to complete some online COVID-19 training before starting classes. They could actually write me an email instead of sending me this letter over thousands of miles. My lunch is done. This time I lay on the sofa because my back hurts a bit, maybe because I need to buy a proper chair. I start reading the documentation and I put together my functional knowledge to design flight plans and operations relevant to what we are going to test in the system. This task takes quite a while as there is a lot of documentation and I need to be creative with the test cases. I soon realize that I will not be ready today. It's nearly 4.30 and I feel like my working day is finished. The senior engineer is asking us about our progress with the projects during the day. We have a quick chat and I disconnect from the company server. It's time for 30 minutes workout and since there is not a single gym working in UK at the moment, I write in YouTube search hardcore cardio training. I'm choosing a workout from my favorite YouTube trainer, Jordan Yacht, and started. I'm trying to be quiet as my neighbors sent me a letter last night that I'm too loud. The letter says, I would have knocked out, but since it is locked down, I didn't think you would appreciate it. But you are storming the floor so hard, our entire flat is shaking. This happens every day and is affecting 
work as I work from home. I am politely asking you to be mindful of the fact that people live below you. Thanks. 52. I feel exhausted. I take a quick shower and then I head on to the kitchen to cook some steaks. Emma. Hi, Justin. While I eat, I watch how my favorite YouTuber Mr. Beast is giving money to some random people. But I still feel that I have energy for writing the script for my next YouTube video, which actually went out last week and it's about the supersonic aircrafts. I watch a Udemy course about C++ for about 45 minutes and write codes from there. I do this until 8 o'clock because I never work after 8 as my brain is already burnt at that time. Now it's time to relax. Luckily I received a call from my best friend and we were chatting for 40 minutes about girls, strategies to become millionaires and just what happened during the day. I call my father to talk about video recording and editing strategies as he is passionate about this as well. At 9 o'clock I do a bit of multitasking, watching fun Spanish series while playing FIFA at the same time. After 2 hours of playing I am done. I take my laptop to the bed where watching funny videos while slowly going to sleep. This was my first video of this type so please let me know down in the comments if you liked it. And if you feel like you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe and check out these ones.